and that's fine. Now, let's just sort of pause for a second. Your dad's dad's, they had a nickname in Claremore. Prof. Prof. Jones. Prof. Jones. Professor Jones. Now, he was the principal at in Lincoln. my time, I can't think of a time, I must have been very young when he passed. Mm -hmm. Early 50s. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you remember meeting him? Like, Ray, ironically, I was old enough to remember one thing about what I call granddad. And that was, he lived next door. At that point in time, his wife, my grandmother, had no. Give me the address of your house. 419 South Cherokee so Avenue. 417? Yes. Okay. So I remember him telling me to come over. At that time, my grandmother, his wife, had already passed away. But I remember walking up the steps and going into this really ornate house with these beautiful, huge wing chairs. And I remember climbing into the wing chair, both of my hands on the arms, and I'm waiting just waiting and then he would walk over with this huge leaded glass dish. He would remove the top and he would hand it to me and then he would snatch it back and say, I know you like candy corn or corn candy. You read the newspaper <laughs> and I'll give you a piece. Read the newspaper. Read the newspaper. So then he would put the glass dish down, put the cover on it and he would sit there, hand me a newspaper and I'm all over for maybe two or three years old. So you go and I would, doing, I would do what you just did when we began this interview. Yeah. He's just making up things. Yes. And he would say, that's, that's very good. And he would take the dish and give me some candy corn. Oh, um, and that's kind of like gave me the motivation to learn to read the comics, to have my sister teach me how to read those, yeah. uh, and then books and then encyclopedias. And the rest, is, I suppose, is history. Well, he lived up to his name. Prof. He did. Prof. Yeah. Now, real name. Prof. Jones's real name. Willie Cornelius. Jones. W.C. W.C. Jones. Wi Willie Cornelius. Yes. Not Cornelius' son, Cornelius. Right. Mm -hmm. Jones. Okay, now, his wife, your grandmother. Ada. Ada. Middle name? I think it was Lou. Ada Lou. Yeah. Okay. I think it was Lou. Yeah. And ironically, my mother's name, yes. my mother's mother's name was Ada also. Okay. Yeah. Now, we're going to flip over on your mom's side. Okay. Let's just confirm. Mm-hmm. Did you ever know your grandfather or grandmother on your mother's side? Indeed, indeed. Okay, and where did they live? Gibson Station, okay. they, Oklahoma. They lived in Gibson Station. Just outside of uh, Wagner, okay. Oklahoma, which was just outside of Muskogee. You know, okay. We'll come back to Gibson oh, right. Station. <clears throat> your grandfather's first and middle name? Zeddy, Z-E-T-T-I-E. -T -T -E. Okay. Unique. His middle name was Unique? No. <laughs> the, the name oh, Zeddy was oh, Unique. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zeddy. Yep, mostly. You, uh, no middle name? Not that I recall. Okay, and mm -hmm. your grandmother? Um, Ada. Okay. And okay, she was, you just already said that. Yeah, she was born Clay, okay. but Ada, mostly. Middle name? I don't remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we have one set of grandparents living next door, and how long did your grandmother live on the on the Jones side? On my dad's side, um, again, she passed away actually before I can even remember. Okay. So it had to have been in the late late 40s, early 50s. Okay, so he was left single for quite yes. a few years. Yes, for okay. several years thereafter, I think. And I on your mother's side, how long did they survive? Her parents lived uh, actually a, long, a much, much longer period of time because I remember uh, in school, at least in elementary school, um, and going down to Gibson Station to visit them. And actually, I remember being in college uh, when uh, my grandmother died and um, going back uh, for the funeral. So they lived quite a, quite a lengthy life, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that's...